The stream on Twitch should be working, yes. There is people, there, there was people talking, so... You probably didn't type the link correctly, because it's Z2 Bowie with a 3, not an E. It's in the description if you're on YouTube. So I guess I'll just cast the start, like, the end of this game, and then we can cast the other one. Uh, Alright. Let's go. So there's literally no water. Uh, oh, the lobby is dead. All right, we should be getting pretty close to the game then. Uh, I'll just play a game of overthrow and then I can just like play it later. I started playing Terror Blade after a TZ video. It was a real boost from MR. Nice. Hope you're having a good time. What is the game? What is this? Oh, that's the game. It said the lobby couldn't be fine. Well, they, they won, right? I think this is over. Io Gyrocopter Kappa. Thanks, Iki. Really appreciate it, dude. Well, they lost. Uh, so yeah, we have no water here. And I am afraid I'm gonna get very, very thirsty at some point. There's not gonna be any water. But, you know, that's the sacrifices of being a caster. Uh, it says 15 lobbies. Oh, wait. Uh, 
sure. This is lobbies, right? This is not how many people are waiting. Thanks, Dojo. Really appreciate it, man. Oh, nice. Really appreciate it, dude. What should I play? Uh, what is good here? It's probably only gonna be like two people, right? Because this is the 10, 10 person overthrow. So we should probably get something that fights constantly. Uh, I guess I'll just play PA. What is your accent? Whack as fuck. Oh, I don't know what's my accent, but I am from Brazil. Wait, what? Look at the promotion. You can, you can get links in your own games. What? Wait, what? I banned PA? No, come on! Don't ban my hero. GG. Speak loudly. Well, here's the deal. My mic, my mic. Yeah, I'm gonna crank it all up, but I think it's still gonna be pretty bad, but let's hope it works. All right, let's pick. Let's pick Ursa. I guess Monkey King is fun. Signify is an Indian team. Yeah, I know. No idea how well they're gonna they're gonna be, but how they're gonna play. It seems like there's gonna be a lot of stomps at the start, right? Because PSG they were playing that Admiro team. I'm not really sure what those guys are about. Um, but still, it's a great opportunity for the other teams. And oh god, I have pretty high ping here. So wait, what is the career? What? There's no career? Rigged game. All right, let's just use. I think this is probably the best skill to have. Oh, there are no trees. Oh, GG. Oh, I guess I'll, I can always just like hide and shit. Oh, hello. Oh god. Oh, fuck. This game is all about stealing kills. That's why I, I'm trying to learn the the real way of playing this game. Oh wait, does this count? Do I get like experience here? Uh, it seems like I get it faster if I'm here. Oh, I don't know actually. What? Oh, GG! Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Whoa! So much gold, but I don't have a courier. Feels bad. Oh, I guess I'll just keep getting experience. Oh. We lost. Wait, did I get that? Just because... Did I get that just because I have higher, like, higher attack range or something? And... Huh. Fucking internet died for no reason. This leg is kinda kinda tilting. Hello. Dude, why don't we have courier? Oh, we already have the courier, I see. Oh, this guy's just AFK. Oh, interesting. Uh I guess this is good, right? Hmm? 
I guess I'll just stay here. So I can kill everyone. Uh, oh. oh, I don't have cooldown. Fuck. I was just spamming. Oh. Oh fuck. Uh, can I kill this guy? I think I can. Nice. Oh, we lost. Oh, more flingless. What's up, Dito? Okay. So I guess I'll get a shadow blade later. Despacito. Oh, wait, what? How did he cut that tree? What? We lost. How long to the game? That is a good question. Um, probably not a lot because the game already ended. We're just probably just waiting for the lobby to be created or something. Uh. Alright, so right now I only have two kills. But I think I have a way more gold than those guys. I might be able to just like get a couple of kills. Oh, feels bad. Morphling? Hello. Oh, he has a column blade? What? Oh boy. Wait, punch. What the hell? I guess I'll just get the attack speed to be fair. Got my shadow blade. I mean, no one is even here. What's up, leader? How are you doing, man? Uh, my voice. My voice seems to be pretty good now. Is the voice levels good now? Oh. Where's my cutter? What? Oh god. I need the life seal. I didn't have the, the balance strike ready. Your voice is fine, thanks. This is good. Nice to know. So I guess Diffusal Blade is good. I don't even know what's good. Wait, what the hell? So many. Alright. Oh god. Give me that sweet, sweet lifestyle. Oh. Fuck. Axe just counters me so hard. Let's, let's try something a little different. They actually have a lot of counters, Monkey King. Uh, I guess I'll just like... Wait it out. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh fuck. Alright, let's... Let's kill steal that beauty. What the fuck? Just mana voice me out of nowhere. We'd rather chat on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, I am reading both, but I I always prefer that people are on Twitch than YouTube. YouTube is not a great streaming platform, unfortunately. This is a good target. Oh god. Oh, call plus reaper sight. Not a lot I can do.
So we have a gain. Oh, no, we don't. We should be pretty close. Oh, actually, the Reaper side works in this mode. What the hell? Uh, I think I need life still. Maybe if I just, like, go satanic. I don't know, actually. I just I don't want to die to the call. Hmm. Hmm. Why did he blink to? What? Monka Giga. So Baron, thanks for switching uh, to Twitch. Really appreciate it, dude. You're a boss. Hmm. I'm gonna one five, bro. Fuck. He actually armed the toggle. I'm dead. Uh, oh, I did get a kill, I guess. And I got a mask. Fuck, they, they have true sight here or whatever. Oh no, he has bleak dagger! Ah, fuck. Oh, thank you very much for the sub. Really appreciate it, Baron. That boy has a satanic. Wait, there's a Radiance. Who the hell has a Radiance? Okay, we lost. Not true side when you pick Rune, your Invis is gone. Oh. I don't play a lot of this. I don't like this mode at all. I like the like the team-based over overthrow. Well, I am getting pretty close to my... My satanic. I actually don't think it really solves any problems, to be fair. But I guess... Like, the bash from that anti-mage is actually quite annoying. I can't really man fight him at all. Hmm. Hello. Oh, he has a, a manter. Fuck. 
the soul boxes. Yeah, I just every time. Yes, I'll get this. I'm getting close to satanic, but probably doesn't so like I can't press my satanic fast enough because I'm playing with like 90 ping. I'm not used to so much lag. Oh, we're from Australia. That's awesome. Oh god. Pledge was Wait, what? Is that a morphling that became an anti mage? I need to wait for my mail to strike cooldown. So I'm just gonna chill. What's up, Molar? Australia isn't real. Kappa. Hello. Oh god. Ah, oh, sure, there's a. There's a fucking Ursa. Does, does it have any of this? Actually, it just has Link Tiger. Why does that happen, Necrophus? This Necrophus is gonna own everyone. He's just like there. And we have no way of actually dealing with it. Uh, level 24, Jesus. Oh, you have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding. And now this guy actually steals my kill. Oh. Alright, I, I I just give up. Uh well, I guess I have to keep playing. There's no lobby yet. Anna is my brother. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Or maybe just being brother like you know you, you hang out with him. Mm. Dude! Fuck this guy! Fuck this guy! What? We just. Alright, I'm just. Wait, what? I have 100 viewers on Twitch? What is happening? I. Oh, maybe people are actually tuning in because of the. Because of Join Dota. What the hell? I added my stream there. So maybe that's why. That's cool. I lived with an Asian guy, so pretty much know the entire Anna family. Oh. That's crazy, dude. That's awesome. I thought we were actually just kidding. Okay, let's... Oh! Fuck! Oh, give it to me! Okay. Okay, my satanic doesn't matter. Alright, alright. We should be getting close to a game. I think. No, we're not. Oh, overtime? Oh, they're tied. And we need 25. Uh. So I'm never killing this guy. Okay, I'm just gonna. Okay. Taking quite a bit of damage here. We should be pretty close, guys. We should be pretty close. Play Meeple. Yeah, I can just I can just leave the lobby in case the game starts. You're the second person I've ever subbed to. That's crazy. Thank you very much. I actually have a lot of people from Australia watching, which is kind of crazy. Like, I think Australia is probably like the fourth or fifth country that watches me. And like, when you think about it, we wouldn't expect Australia to be up there because like, there's no Australian scene whatsoever. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know what happens. Maybe it's the proximity to the Asian countries. But I mean, Japan doesn't even play Dota. There's a lot of Dota players in Australia. And like they can't get any visibility just because you know Australia is so so away from everything. They cannot play Europe. You don't speak Chinese. I guess that, that's probably why Anna actually ended up ended up being successful. 
I mean, yeah, but KP lived in China, right? I don't think... I think he's Australian, but I don't think he lived in Australia for, like, a long time. Uh, supports, it's about sports and shit here. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it is, but there there are a lot of... I, I, there is a bigger Australian, like, viewership base or whatever than I expected to be. Because, like, you would expect, I don't know, Ukraine to be bigger because of the NDU or, like... Uh, the U, I guess the US, I, I have more US viewers than I have Australian viewers, but it's actually pretty close. So this is why I'm surprised. Not beaten, you know. The applause her in the TV show, important fact. Who are we talking about here? Her? Say no to Wisp. I'll try. Hmm. What about Indian viewers? I mean, yeah, but India is a, a humongous country, right? <laughs> Have like 1 billion people. Australia is rather small. There's like 50,000? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that is a dumb... Wait, 50 million, right? Yeah, I think it's 50 million. Maybe it's more, but I think it's pretty small. You live in Brazil or America? I live in Brazil. Uh, come on, guys. Where's the game? I want to... Dude, there's no water here. I'm already starting. I guess I'll just crack a beer. Like, literally, the only thing I have to drink is beer. 20 million. See? This is... <laughs> like, Australia is what? 20... 50 times smaller? Uh, yeah, 50 times. Uh, India is probably... It's probably more than 1, 1 billion people. So, it's like maybe 60 times. The population of India gets incremented by the amount of Australian population each year. <laughs> uh, that just dehydrates you further, man. Yeah, it's, but it's about getting my mouth wet, not about hydration. Exactly, you know? You know when you... Like, does it make any sense? Like, when you want to talk a lot, you don't need to be hydrated necessarily. You just need your mouth to not be dry. And I guess you can have your mouth dry and be hydrated does that make sense i think it does maybe it doesn't anyways uh what is fun to play here monkey king is nice but it just people just get on top of you um i mean that ping didn't help legion's probably awful Ah, oh, come on. Yege. What the fuck? Game started on Twitch? What? Oh, maybe there's a delay. Oh, like, do you mean the game or do you mean the lobby? Like, the, the draft? Because maybe there's a delay and they are, they are streaming with no delay. Save speed the entire week in a jar so you have something to moist in your mouth when streaming. Oh, that is lovely. Draft ongoing. Hello. I mean, the first game was showing here, PSG OGG, so I assume it's gonna show up very, very shortly. It's probably just a small delay for the non... for the non-official streams, like mine. Uh... Oh god. Uh sure, let's accept. Hey Dodie Boy, remember I won your jugger arcana giveaway? I lost that arcana. How you mean you lost? Did you bet it? You watched the drunk stream? I, I mean I won't be drunk, it's just one beer. Uh I'm going to be casting teams. I mean maybe more if I cast more games, but they're all bo ones, so it shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't be a long stream or or whatever. Uh, what's the name of the team? Signify, right? Do they even have a Twitter handle? Signify. Twitch. There you go. Hmm. 
All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna accept these anymore. The game should be showing. You need to get drunk, please. <laughs> there you go. We have a draft. Let's go, boys. Um, All right, there we go. <clears throat> so let me take this weird music out. And there you have it, guys. This is Team Secret versus Signify. This is going to be a BO1 between both teams. And um, yeah, I guess there's not much else to say. Signify, they're an Indian team. Uh, not really sure what to expect of these guys. Uh, team Secret, you know, great team. Uh, we have a new iteration of the team with Nisha and Zai being added. I'm not sure if they played any officials ever since the uh, new roster. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting at best. Like, to be fair, we don't know how much In Secret actually screamed, how good they are right now. So the results of this game, especially considering it's a BL1, I don't think it really matters much. I guess if Signify wins, it's actually pretty hype for them. Even, you know, you, you can... You could say that Team Secret didn't practice, or that that's a new roster. Still, they won against Team Secret. It's gonna put them in the map. Everyone, you know, uh, is gonna be at least a little bit extra interested about uh, what they have to offer. And they start with the Dark Willow. That is not a hero you see, especially after the nerfs. Especially against bulky boys like the Ogre Magi. But, uh, you know, maybe they have something in store. Maybe they have a great Dark Willow spammer. Uh, signify winning odds are less than 10%. Yeah, I would say probably like 5 to 10%. Uh, first Indian team in Dota, probably not the first, but maybe like the most hype Indian, the most hype match involving an Indian team, I guess. I don't know. Uh, are there actually any Australian teams? Probably. I'm not sure how, uh, how relevant they are, but definitely. Hmm. By the way, I got a Crystal Maiden Arcana, so I need a matching carrier. So I got myself the carrier Hakobi and Teneko. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so they open with the Dark Willow Terrorblade. Uh, Dark Willow, often a hero you see picked versus Terrorblade. You know, um, some decent AoE control. Um, a lot of magic damage. Terrorblade gets countered by that. And I guess Terrorblade, a hero we wouldn't be able to see in the second phase. That's quite nice. And now it's a uh, Team Secret Stymo. Oh, they're gonna get the Lena. Um, this is a hero. Uh, you, actually, offlane Lena became quite popular versus Terrorblade. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't put past us an offlane Lena. It could be mid Lena. It's all about oh, with the T8 band that kind of signalizes. Well, they're probably gonna play mid Lena, uh, but I think they could still put it in the offlane if if they, you know, if they seem. If it seems like a decent game, that ogre will boost up the Lina's move speed and attack speed even more, and it's just a setup for the LSA as well. First phase arrow blade, yeah, I mean it's probably one of the very few ways you're gonna be able to 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 get the terror blade because right now the hero is highly contested, so you have to because like you you're either the enemy team is either going to pick. The Terror Blade, uh, either like ban the Terror Blade, pick the PL, or they're gonna ban both, or they're gonna get like a counter. So a lot of the times you need to first phase the Terror Blade. In this game, they actually had the first pick of the second phase. Still, they decided to get the Terror Blade, and they also banned the Alchemist, the hero you see quite often uh, versus the Terror Blade. All right. Now they're gonna ban the Firebird, and Team Secret removing the Enigma, uh, the Silencer. So is that an Enigma setup right there? You see, uh, you don't ban Silencer in the in the second phase very often. Yeah, I guess the Silencer could be pretty decent on the side of Signify. They're liking. Uh, I assume this is a position for Dark Willow. So the Silencer pretty decent to counter counter the Lina Scepter combo whenever she finds someone, or just to. Make sure that the Terrorblade can Sunder. It's a decent team fight. 
hero, but I think Team Secret might snatch up. He's spamming the hero a little bit. Uh, I literally only started climbing after your Alk and Terribly videos. That's awesome. All right, you're going to get the Tree and Protector. Uh, you know, Overgrowth, pretty decent. It allows the Terra to right click very well. The region from the... Uh, for now, they don't really have a lot of Siege. You know, the Lena usually can take, like, the tier 1. But later on, Lena is not the greatest Sieger. You know, she... She has some decent attack speed, but... Like, she can't just... She's not like a Terra Blade, you know, that just pops the Metamorphosis, has 40 armor, and even if they jump... You have a chance of actually turning the fight around. Lena is way more of like a pick someone off and then siege super fast. So the Twin Protector allows them to keep their buildings a little bit more, especially when you have some push. You know, the uh, keeping your buildings alive when you don't have push is usually kind of a bad strategy. But when you can actually get buildings and make your building survive, the differential in net worth becomes pretty big. Um, could be a mid Lena due to the TA ban. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, I think they're gonna they're gonna wait and see how the lanes pan out, and if they think the Lena is fine in the off lane, uh, I think Lena is actually pretty good at pressuring the Terror Blade. They could even send the Terror Blade mid if this is off lane Lena, but you know, just a lot of conjunctures. We don't really know what's gonna happen. For now, Team Secret, they're actually taking their time here. The Tree and Protector maybe cog them off guard. Um, so this hero. Pretty good at pressuring the safe lane. Okay, they're gonna get the Wyvern. Wyvern, pretty decent versus Terra Blade. You know, you can kill any supports or even some cores if they're staying close to the Terra Blade. Um, Cold Embrace, pretty decent versus the Terra Blade. They don't really have a lot of magic damage besides the Dark Willow right now. And um, yeah, it's just a, a pretty. Oh, it's actually pretty good at clearing the illusions as well. They're gonna get the Brewmaster. I actually kind of like their draft. I think it's pretty solid. They pick the Morphling on the side of Team Secret. Uh, can actually become the Terror Blade, so that's very monka -ass. Uh Also, Hero just synergizes decently with Cold Embrace. You know, if you're if you're morphing, you're, you're getting more HP regen per second. Uh, if you're not morphing, the base HP just heals you pretty much to full HP. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. Also burst damage, burst magical damage versus the Terra Blade. So you have the Lina plus the E Blade. The Terra Blade will probably be forced to go for a very early BKB. Uh, what the hell? We have one K viewers. I, okay, nice. I guess that's awesome. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> so much pressure. All right, uh, going back to the draft, they're gonna ban the Bat Rider. Um, yeah, they're like in... Okay, so that... That probably says... They're going mid Lina, and uh, we don't want to deal with the Bat Rider. Bat Rider just destroys trees, which kind of makes the Tree and Protector's life kind of hard. It's also a lot of magic damage versus the Terror Blading Lane. He's going to struggle a little bit against that. And it's not like they have a lot of vision, right? Besides the Tree and Protector. Uh, so you're always kind of scared of those initiation heroes. Um... Oh, you guys tricked me? Fuck. <laughs> I was happy. Gigi. I've played with Blizzard in SCA pubs. He's like Immortal 400 or so and the best player of TA. Oh, interesting. Uh... Well, TA is banned, so he's not going to have that luxury. <laughs> oh, Team Secret. They're taking their time here. We did talk about the Enigma being available. Uh, still in the poll. It looks like they are lacking an offlaner. Uh, in terms of Enigma being good here, there is the Trient Protector we talked about. Actually, I didn't mention the fact that Trient kind of a hard counter to the Enigma just because of the overgrowth and the boops. You can always cancel that black hole. I'm gonna take the Zeus out of the pole. Pretty decent versus Lena as well. I think Storm might be a decent pick here. Uh, they don't they don't have that much control, and uh, Lena struggles pretty hard against a hero like that. Might be a little bit greedy, but you do have that Brewmaster to create some space for you. Um, Secret could just go offlane Lena and mid Timber. 
Mm. Well, it's all about whatever signify last picks here. They do have the last pick. Let's see if they're going to go with the Enigma. Let's see if they're going to surprise us with some weird, I don't know, Centaur. I think Centaur would be okay. We're going to get... Ooh, so that is indeed the Offling Lena, as we talked about. And they're going for the Ember Spirit. I don't hear that the TA kind of... You know, it, it's kind of a... It's kind of a skill match, but the TA just farms way too fast. It's just so annoying to play. I like it. I told about... I said Offling Lena, you know, if I had 1k viewers here... This might be unread, you know? D2 Bowie unfolds Team Secret Strategy. But... Thanks to... Thanks to someone lying to me, right, Miller? I'm kidding. It doesn't matter. Uh, so that is most likely the Offling Lina. Uh, Ember Spirit. I'm not even sure if I like the Ember that much here. They have two roots. You have the Dispel from the Brewmaster. I guess it's just a very... Uh, I mean, before the Terrorblade has BKB... Ember Spirit actually deals pretty nicely with Terror Blade. And it's on one of the mid one specials, right? He is known for playing this hero very well. Um, Wyverns max the fuck out of Morph and Lina with her wings. <laughs> Still in beta. Oh, Indian Dota. Huh. There's actually a lot of Indian uh, viewers. Uh, I think it's they, they're the fourth most. Uh, they're, they're the fourth country that watches me the most, behind Philippines, US, and I wanna say Malaysia. Probably Malaysia. Anyways, signify they have their last ban, uh, their last pick just waiting. Not really sure what they're going for. I mean, they are liking the mid hero. They're gonna go old now. That is a hero. What is the? Oh god! I I I'm not sure about Screen of Pain. I am not sure about Screen of Pain at all. But uh, yeah, this is what we have for today. We're gonna have a Queen of Pain, decent versus Ember in lane. But what happens afterwards? I have no idea. But we will find very very shortly. Uh, how is Tinker for Signify? Uh, I think Tinker versus Ember. It's not great. Very hard for the Tinker to break the Flame Guard uh, once the Ember gets level 7. Like, you can break it, but he just kills you faster. Um, you know, the laser is pure damage, so he doesn't really fuck with that. The laser also doesn't really diminish the Ember Spirit's uh, DPS, just because he's all about the Fire Remnants, the Flame Guard, and the Searing Chains. So yeah, uh, I, I think the Queen of Pain is probably a better pick in regards to the Ember. I'm just not sure if it was the right pick. I would be fine with something like a mid Monkey King or an Invoker, but maybe they don't have an Invoker player. Uh, what happened to Ace? Ace is out. This will be a good match. Yeah, hopefully. So I'm gonna try and find some water. If I don't find any water, I'm gonna crack a beer open. And yeah, this is gonna be the game. I'll be back in 10 seconds, guys. My fridge is pretty close to my to my chair, so be right back. Alright, so there is no there is no water in my house, thanks to the one of the pipes being broken. So we're gonna have to make it up with some cold beer. Uh, Alright, so let's see what we have in store here. This game seems to be pretty hype. Oh, oh god, oh no. I'm not in my... Okay, there we go. Okay, this is not my usual account, so I... My, my hotkeys are a little bit wonky. Alright, uh... Okay, so let's see Let's see what happens. Uh, here in the offlane, we do have that Trian Protector already trying to set up and contest the Morphling. Nisha, actually, Morphling Strand here. Uh, actually, usually you see Morphlings with way, with way less HP, but he goes up to 600 here. Doesn't want to, doesn't want to take a boop in the face and, you know, lose 10% of his HP, probably even more. 
Um, yeah, we do see Zai here playing that all flame Lina I talked about. Can remove the waiting game. Oh, that yeah, that is that is definitely that is definitely a good idea. Thank you very much for reminding me of that. Uh, interesting ward over here that does block the camp from Team Secret. Um, Papan already migrating towards the bottom lane needs to protect Nisha. Oh, Negi, boop. All right, that is one, two boops. And those creeps, as we talked about, they, they don't really do much. And Morphling will be forced to TP to his tower. Wait, that's a long STP because Puppy also TP'd here. He's setting up, uh, I guess he was out of vision. So maybe he's trying to set up for, for a play. But Nisha took 50% of his HP. Uh, that's not how we want to start the game. Um, mid one gets himself a range creep deny, which is pretty good in a lane like this. Uh, and now Crowley. Playing versus Nisha here. Uh, in the top lane, we do see the Metamorphs has been popped. The LSA will land on to the Blizzard Terrorblade. And he's gonna he's gonna get zoned out pretty hard. And this is why uh offlane lane is good. It's because of LSA. Whenever the Terror Blade, oh look at that, that's just so much control and the attack range from Lina, one of the few heroes that actually outrange uh I mean there's not a lot of range off laners right now, and the Lina off range is that terror blade, even with metamorphs by quite a bit. Oh, and there is a first blood that I missed. Sorry for the teachers, guys. The Dark Willow. Uh, it ends up being taken down by Puppy. Uh, here in the safe lane, we do see Negi, our tree and protector, taking quite a lot of damage from the off lane of Secret. And here, all right, they're going Crowley, very low HP. We do see uh, Morphling taking quite a bit of damage. Will attribute shift a little bit, but that is only level one attribute shift, so not the greatest uh, rate of Morph by any means. So in the middle lane, it looks like the Co-op struggling quite a bit against the Ember Spirit already, and I think it's only going to get worse, uh, to be fair. Once that Terrorblade, once, once the Ember Spirit gets level 6, it's so hard for the Co-op. The Searing Chains just hurts so bad. I, I actually wouldn't be surprised if... Oh, hello, the LSA. And also, it's a hero that breaks trees, right? So you can take a lot of those trees out. They will commit. It looks like they're trying to go for Zai. Negi tries to go for the last boom. The Fairy Fire, the LSA. No, Terrible. He might be taken down the right clicks from Zai in the south. That is just hard to watch. Secret with the baits there. They do get a double in the safe lane. Oh, nice slide of face. Actually, doesn't dodge the shadow strike. And now mid one will trade very well against the cop here. Not drawing tower aggro. Look at that. Swift needs to be so careful. Already lost quite a bit of HP. Pops a self here in the bottom lane. It looks like Crowley pops that clap, but not enough to really get away. The shadow realm will finally be committed on to Nisha. Oh, no. Oh, he wanted to max it out, but he... Oh, no. Maybe the nerves getting a little too much of the Indian team here. Signify, you know, it's only a 1,000 gold, but four kills already with not a lot of uh, not a lot of punishment coming. Neji trying to set up here has that boop. I'm not sure they can actually get a kill. Okay, one. Okay, they're gonna try. The brambles are there. Puppy trying to dodge it, but with that clap, I think they might have enough. Yeah, the shadow realm. We'll see the deal. Oh, Nisha actually ends up getting caught by the brambles here. The way far away. And in the mid lane, we do see mid one again playing so aggressive, and he's 13 and 3. I think this lane should be harder for the Ember Spirit, but he's just getting away with murder right there. All right. Oh, the boops again on Puppy. Baits the Fire Blast out, but doesn't do much. Nice range, creep deny. And yeah, I think we're kind of waiting for the level 6 on mid 1 here. Oh, surprisingly, the Co-op actually gets level 5 before mid 1. That is quite nice, although there is some extra creeps here. Guess the range, creep deny. Oh, that is a nice animation. This is... I really like the animation from this. All right, yep, sir. Tries to get the Arctic burn out, but won't find the Co-op, actually. Blinks out there was uh, increase the game volume. Oh, sure. Sorry. Uh, let's. Hopefully, this is better. Uh, the war there coming by Puppy. And a an offlane pool here being performed by No Chance, the Dark Willow. 
Uh, all right, it looks like they want to contest this. Yapser shows up with all right the fire blast ignite as well. Was they had no time to dodge with the shadow realm, and now the boops are here. Can they get Nisha? He's trying to show okay. The attribute should will be good enough. They're still chasing. There is no extra natures, guys, on the train protector for a while. They're gonna get the fire blast onto train protector. Crawley trying to go for Nisha, but there's no way he has enough push damage. The brambles are laid out. Can they save the chin? Actually, he's alive, he's invisible. There is no uh, detection coming by secret here. All right, yeah, you don't have enough. There's no way you can get this. Treant, maybe trying to set up. There's no shadow around. Four seconds on cooldown. They're gonna get the root here. The wave form away actually puts Neji into very low HP levels here. You need to be careful. The fire blast is gonna be here, and Puppy will just blast the hell out of him. It looks like the Yapsur Wyvern got the two bounties at the same time, and in the mid lane there is finally. Uh, I think your mic, your mic is clipping. Is my mic clipping, guys? Can someone uh? Get on top of that. Mm -hmm. Searing Chain is going to be there. There is no... Not enough mana for the Sonic Wave on Chukop. Even with that stick. Uh, it's not clipping. Alright. Thanks. Yes, it is. Well, you're the only person, Seba, that said it's clipping. So, I, I just want to see if more people are having the same problem. I don't know what that is. It's when you say something and the audio gets distorted because it's too loud. Oh, okay. The all right actually blinks out uh, the Ember Spirit here. I'm not even sure mid one understands what happened. And now the Scream of Pain is gonna be there. There is enough mana for that Sonic Wave, but they're gonna need more damage, and they get it with the Sonic Wave. It is clipping. It is not. All right. Uh, yeah, it looks like the Terror Blade died here. So you see, people were telling me to increase the mic. It's clipping when you go over the mic threshold, uh, but it's too low when I'm not going over, so it doesn't make sense, and that is what's pissing me off. All right, I'm gonna speak. <sighs> I'm gonna speak away from the mic, and hopefully that helps. Uh, actually, just just a second here. Yeah, hopefully this is enough. Um, can anyone? It clips when you get hyped. Yeah. You know, this mic was working well. I, I don't know what happened, but uh, hopefully hopefully fi it's fixed. If it happens again, please let me know, guys. Uh, I definitely want to give you guys the best experience possible. Uh, I'm leaving armor here. Being applied onto the Brewmaster. The Terra Blade just farming the jungle. You know, it's only a 2,000 gold lead. It's not unsurmountable by any means. Um, the problem I see, it's that, oh god, I'm gonna lose the tree and protector here again. Uh, the problem that I see is how are you going to enable this Terror Blade when you don't have the best matchup? Look at that, the Steering Chain is already locking Swifty here in the mid lane, mid one, being very aggressive the way he plays. And uh, I think this cop is gonna have a tough time, and then you're, you have this Terror Blade is also having a tough time. So the question is, how are you going to make everything just click? Alright, top lane, they're gonna try and get the leap seed out. Oh, nice use of the Brambles here. We'll find Zyba, that's a double LSA. And now they're trying to go, the Arctic Burn will slow the Dark Below down, so I think this is enough. Great LSA by Zyder, allowing him to disengage. They do have the Quap here, but nice quick war coming by Secret. We'll spot the rotation, that's actually an Arcane Burn. And he definitely wants to use, especially with the Sonic Wave getting ready again. Mid one, will TP back to the base, leaving... Uh, Alright, Puppy actually TPing out. So, alright, mid one, Searing Chains on to that Quap. Okay. Crowley, level five. Pretty okay, I guess. Uh, he's pretty close in network to the safe lane of Secret, so that is just probably not too shabby. Scream of Pain gets used. Ember Spirit just pops that Flame Guard and he's going to be fine. Uh, it doesn't look like the Cop was able to use that Arcane Rune. So that's kind of a that's kind of a problem, right? Because he popped the Arcane Rune and then he gave up onto the gank. So you really need to use that Arcane Rune perfectly. Alright, the LSA will find the Dark Willow. The Shadow Realm is there. They do TP the Cop here. Where is the Scream? The, the Shadow Strike, they don't have the range, but they'll finally get it. Nice. Sonic Wave will seal that kill. But can they go for more? It doesn't look like that's the case. In the offlane, they get the Brewmaster. Doesn't have the Primal Split just yet, so he he is going to fall. Um, yeah, Blizzard 
Still just farming, has the extra Wraith Band, has the Acula, but no boots. He is struggling quite a bit in the network department here, behind the Dark Willow of all heroes. So, not the greatest performance of the Terror Blade. That happens when you have to first pick the Terror Blade, you know. You're gonna have some rough laning stages, so that means they are probably confident into their Terror Blade, even if they struggle in the laning stage. Mid one, again, just zoning that Corp out and... You know, it, it's just gonna get worse and worse. It's, okay, the Amber will actually fire Remnant to this rune, and the LSA finds the TB Blizzard 0 3 and 0. Struggling hard this game. The uh, Wyvern, pretty low in HP. Looks like Yapser will walk back to the base. I think he's gonna get a tome. Yeah, he buys the tome already. Probably will deliver via that courier. Nisha already level 7, going for the Treads, top lane, the LSA will find a tree and Protector, now there's no trees for him to run away, he's trying to get out, but oh no, the Laguna Blade is more than enough damage, actually runs towards the tower here. A TP from Puppy will get scouted out thanks to this ward, but uh, yeah, not, not much happening here. Can you increase the game volume again? Okay, you guys want more game volume? Sure. Okay, mid one will remnant away. It's just that people were complaining that my voice was low, so I'm afraid of increasing the game volume and uh, just getting even worse, but I'll try. Was cop nerfed. Nah, she's just not a great hero right now. Uh, doesn't really dominate the lane, and she kind of relies on dominating the lane. Uh, and the tower getting beaten up pretty hard here. Dragon Slave will fly out. They do have that living armor, but it's, it's just easily gonna get taken down. Can they defend this tower? It doesn't look like that's the case. And on the mid lane, they're also forcing another tower. So they're just giving towers left, right, and center. The Terror Blade finally shows up. Doesn't have boots, though. Can they even get a kill? They're gonna pop the Primal Split. Now, trying to chase Puppy. He pops a cell. He's <laughs> trying to get away. Neji will spot it out, but is it even enough? It is only a Puppy Ogre Magi. You're just giving towers for free. And now they're trying to go for a Zai here. The the Primal Split will finally end, it doesn't look like find that kill, in fact the LSA oh, barely clips Crowley, and they do have the RT Burns low trying to go for him, the Living Armor protecting the Brewmaster, it does not look like they'll find that kill, but two towers down, actually three towers, since Nisha is just free farming bottom as he pressured, pressures the tier 1 in the bottom lane, this is not looking good for Signify, the RT Burn will fly out, okay, Neji still doesn't have the level 6. Um, has 3 points in the living armor, but you know, with the tower just falling like that, you know, I think the Chien really benefits when you have the anti push, when you have the heroes to protect your lanes. And I wouldn't consider Cop to be a good anti push hero. She needs to be close. It's not really okay. They're gonna get a good multi cast on to no chance. He didn't have the Shadow Realm, and he's just gonna get taken down. The Curse Crown Prox, but you know avail. Now they're gonna ping. They actually ping Neji here. It looks like they know he's here, and oh yeah, they're gonna find him. The fire. Okay, the flame guard is there. The LSA will find Blizzard, and that's just an easy, easy like gonna play. They're gonna try and chase the dust, they're gonna get popped. Tree and protector. You're back to the fountain, and this just looks like a massacre. Alright. You still expect Coop to win the lane against Ember. Uh, yeah, you definitely do. That's just the mid one factor. You know? Pretty good player, I heard. Pretty decent player. Uh, the range creep here will get taken now, and now they're pressuring this arc quite a bit. Searing chains onto that Brewmaster. It will set up the LSA. Still, this guy's pretty tanky. He has the Soul Ring as well as the Treads, but no Primal Split for 20 seconds. And it looks like that. Okay, they do find the Morphling with that Sonic Wave again. Those LSAs from Zai are so clutch. They're trying to chase. It looks like mid one will be able to get away. He does have that self to keep him up. Another LSA. They're going to be forced to keep the Overgrowth up. Shadow Realm will be there. Zai, okay. You Scepter trying to buy time. The uh, Dark Willow will get a good Shadow Realm, but again, Zai, can they get it? Yes, they can. That's a blink dagger on the Dark Willow. What is happening? How is she that farmed? Actually, so much more farmed than Crowley, the offlaner. This is crazy. Okay. Uh, Puppy, setting up here. Has that level 4 Fire Blast. They will try. Oh, that's an easy absorb, but the Fire Blast with the Ignite. Where is the Sun there? Okay, I guess he... He thinks he's gonna be fine. Doesn't sunder the poor brewmaster. And it looks like Puppy will TP back to the fountain. In the bottom lane, we do see the Ember's purchase 
Pushing bottom here, has no fears, travels already up. Going for the Yule Scepter, pretty decent at dispelling uh, the Overgrowth, at dispelling the, you know, I guess even the Dagger, the Curse Crown. There's a lot of value there. Lina already has one. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the Morphling goes for a Manter eventually. Uh, already pretty close, I guess not pretty close, but going towards the Lincoln Sphere. And Blizzard's just farming it up, finally finishes his strats. And now he has to decide if he's going straight up BKB, if he's going for Manta. Just looks like a pretty hard game here. 6,000 gold leads. I places a sentry here, he's expecting the chin, but he's actually in the bottom lane just chilling. He has some wars that I think he wants to place. Alright, Dark Willow will pop that Shadow Realm. Actually blinks up to the Absurd. The Curse Crown's gonna be there. The Bramble's completely missing. So a lot of mana being spent and not a lot of results being achieved. So, level 9 on Dark Willow, doing pretty well. Zai uh, has the face boots, going for a Blink Dagger as well, just wants to jump the Terror Blade and destroy him. Uh, okay, Gym Protector pops that, uh, pops that uh, Nature's Guys, just looking for someone, the Ember will TP back, a ward is gonna get placed out, so he gets some decent vision here, some pretty decent deep vision on the side of Team Secret. Uh, the Radiant actually uh, gets another tower. The tier 2 top gets taken down. And Zai is just cruising him. Huh? Offlane Lina. Level 12 ahead of the enemy mid. Having a pretty decent game. And now they're setting up 4 heroes. Make it 5 with Zai. They're gonna try and take this tier 2. It looks like it's not gonna get uh, defend at all. The entirety of signifying the bottom lane. You know, which is nice. They're at least trying to trade. Oh, they're actually sending some heroes. So they're gonna try and contest these. The living armor is there. The glyph being popped by Secret. And now mid one, he's gonna find that Brewmaster. Oh, this is not the terrorize you wanna use. This is a wasted out. It looks like it might... Uh, 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 it might... Repel Secret. But uh, this is 100 seconds with no terrorize. Uh, okay, the Arctic Warren will be popped. But this is the end of it. Um, Swifty actually doing quite well, you know, in terms of items. Going straight up for the Orchid. Uh, Dark Willow has the urn now, so... Oh, hello! This is gonna be the Searing Chains. Oh, boy! Nice Sonic Wave. Glyph 3, the LSA finds the Lina, but... I'm sorry, the Quad, but not enough. It looks at the Tree Protector. Oh, look at that art. Look at the Winter's Curse. Just destroys the tree end. And now they're trying to commit those... Brambles here, they will lose the Dark Willow as well. The Curse Crown procs, but not enough damage. Now the Cold Embrace onto Wyvern. They don't have enough damage, and now the Primal Split will finally end. The Scepter holding that Brewmaster in place. The LSA will not land this time, but the Searing Chains will probably be enough. Look at that stun from Nisha. And this is a triple kill from, <laughs> for Yabzer of all heroes. And it looks like a very, very deciding fight by Secret. Another one that they take handedly, and they're trying now to get this tier 2. There is no... No ults here, uh, only Sundering up. And I, I mean, a lot of that fight being so bad for the side of Signify is the fact that the Terrorize got kind of wasted, you know? You have this Blink Dagger, he could probably s just uh, get closer to get a better a better Terrorize. Since they didn't have it for the fight, it's just, it's just rough. Tried to step away from the mic a few inches, but people said it was too low. I don't know what to do, guys. The mic! Oh god! Alright, I'm gonna step away, but it's probably gonna get very low, so I mean, if you guys can crank up your volume or whatever, I, I'm i gonna try and do my best here. Um, Terror Blade just farming with his illusions here in the bottom lane. Crowley, getting pretty close to that Blink Dagger. Oh, it looks like they find the uh, the, the Winter Wyvern. Right? It's pretty good. Double damage onto the Dark Quill. Has that Blink. Going straight up for the Megarn. Uh, in the top lane, we do see the Quop just chilling. Actually, has gold for that Orchid right now. Uh, Nisha does not have the Lincoln, so this is a decent timing for the side of Signify. Oh, but they're gonna lose. Oh, what? They lose the Ember. I guess that was an overgrowth. He still uh, he didn't have time to use the U Scepter. That is odd. Huh. All right. Hello. Hello, the U Scepter. We'll hold that Dark Willow and the LSA will finish her off for good. Uh, the Terror Blade still farming. Ends up going for the Dragonlance of all heroes. Um, all items. I mean, it is a lot of tank ability, but he still doesn't have a way to deal with the LSA combo, to deal with the Searing Chains. 
Um, I don't know. I really fear for this Terrorblade. He's gonna need a lot of time, and it looks like the Cop is doing a decent job at, you know, creating space. The Orchid finally completed, still waiting it out. And I would like to see her playing a little bit more aggressive. You know, she has the Sonic Wave, has the Orchid. There is no Lincolns onto that Morphling, as we talked about. But if they wait too much, then there's gonna be a Lincolns. There's already the Usceptor on both Ember and... All right, speaking of Ember and Lina, there you go. That is some brambles being cast it looks like the bounty will go to secret and it looks like nation has no fear whatsoever they're gonna drop a sentry there you go the lsa will not land but they actually have the sentry here and the multicast from puppy just shreds the poor tree and protector uh is that the mic or is it just me is it still clipping all right the blink from the cop looking for zai will not find it there is Blink as well as Usceptor onto the Lina. Alright, I'm gonna try and put it even further away. I guess I'll just scream, guys. Maybe if I speak louder. Yeah, I, I don't speak very loud, so I'm gonna try to speak as loud as I can. Let's see if projecting my voice helps, and then I can just stay further away from the mic. Alright. I'm not sure if that yes is yes, the mic is better, or yes, the mic's not clipping. Roshan is being attempted by Team Secret here. Nisha already level 14, getting pretty close to the Lincolns. Mid one actually taking a lot of damage. I'm not sure they're gonna be able to Roche that easily. They're gonna get a code embrace. This is a huge commitment by Team Secret, and then it looks like Signify. Uh, they have no idea that this is happening. Or if they do, they don't really wanna deal with that. I'm surprised this is only a 7,000 goal lead. Uh just go. You're making it worse. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, I guess I'll... I'll just reduce the volume gain even more. Okay, hopefully this helps, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, the Radiance can gets used. Ogre Mijai, level 10. Oh, you need to be careful with those blinks, Cop. You really need to be careful. Oh my god, is she dead? No, that is a good silence. Actually, repels Lina away, and the Cop will be able to blink out, but... Oh, god. Nisha has that Aegis we talked about. Double damage will be found by mid one, and it looks like they lose the Chien Protector once again. One and eight. Not having the greatest of games here. Chien Protector, such a hard game to... Uh, Oh, can they find a kill? Yes, they can. That's gonna be a dead brewmaster. And I don't know. This looks, this looks like a pretty rough game for Signify. You know, uh, I think they they played okay, especially the Dark Willow. She was able to you know get that early uh, blink dagger, but a lot of the times it felt like he was rushing. You know, f with the amount of farm he was able to acquire. I think he just got a little bit ahead of himself. He was just jumping, trying to get solo kills. If they just tried to go for plays as a team, I think we might have seen a better performance. Uh, all right, the Brambles are going to get laid out. The Steering Chains does clip the Dark Willow, but the Shadow Realm is there. The Silence again, but the Blink out from Zai. They don't really have a way of canceling that. And just look at Nisha. Just starts ramming up onto that melee barracks. No response. The Terror Blade is here trying to create some space, but... Uh, I'm not sure this is gonna happen. Uh, okay, they're gonna take the Lincolns out. Nisha is forced away from away, already using that attribute shift. They do find Nisha. Can they get the kill with the silence? This is only going to be the ages if they do, and they will. Now they're gonna lift that Ogre Magi, and Alzai just ramming up onto those primal split units. They will find the Flame Guard one, and now Nisha, he is alive. Melee Barracks still up. Everyone alive on both sides, and this is probably the end of the fight. The Ember actually in the top lane trying to address that split push. We'll go back. Pops that Flame Guard. They're trying to go in again. The Living Armor will get quickly taken out. And now, Searing Chains will not find a co-op. They still have that Sonic Wave, but they just were not able to find the kills that they need. And the melee barracks as well as the range barracks will fall. Are they going for more? It looks like they're not afraid. No, the LSA onto the Dark Willow. The Shadow Realm will buy some time, but probably not enough. All right, the Brambles are there, but the, the damage just comes too fast. They're gonna buy back the Dark Willow. Cop will blink away. Oh, very low in HP. Has those magic one charges if necessary. The Manta Owl from Terrorblade. Nice Thunder. Buy times. I very low HP. Can they get a kill? Yes, they can. The crit. Nice Sonic Wave finds the Wyvern. Conan Bridge just buying time. They will find that one. So Secret maybe overextending a little bit. Puppy. Very 
very, very low. He's most likely that the stream team's buying time for Puppy. I'm sorry, for the Morphling as well as mid one to get out. Okay, so I assume, considering the comments, that the voice is still terrible. All right, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make it very low. I'm gonna make it super low, so when I yell, uh, I guess it's gonna be better. Uh, I'm just gonna lean a little bit closer when I'm talking, you know, when I'm talking with you guys like this. <sighs> yeah, I know it's because of the mic. It, uh, it's probably not the mic, actually. It's probably... It's probably my conf configurations, because this mic worked perfect before. I don't know why it would stop. The voice is fine for me. Well, I'm glad it's fine for you, sir. Um, the wyvern here, just just chilling. Has blink dagger. Has the has the aliens so doing pretty well. We observe here. Uh, wants that uh, wants that lotus orb. Pretty decent dispel as well. You know they already have two U scepters, so an extra one. Oh, hello. And one will find. Uh, we'll find that brewmaster. That's just an easy kill. The shrines. We'll quickly follow the entirety of Signifies here in the top frame, but it just doesn't look like that is enough pressure. They do have a lot of uh, Mantor Illusions here, and they will TP the Ember Spirit to try and hold this tower. But, you know, still some decent damage being applied by the Terrorblade. Uh, just throw the mic away, forehead. <laughs> Alright, so they take one try, Nisha quickly goes to the second one. Um, the Terror Blade is hiding here. Just trying to create as much pressure as possible, but with the Ember here, it doesn't even matter. He's just gonna Searing and change those illusions. Terror Blade is back. It looks like they're trying to create some space here. The Winter's Curse holding the Dark Wool in place. She might be able to TP out. I'm mean, yeah, she's not gonna be able to. Usually you can uh, blink out. Oh, Shadow Realm into the... Alright, there you go. Yeah. Uh, if you just Winter's Curse the target, he can always just uh, blink away because it doesn't cancel the, the Blink Dagger. Uh, but Puppy, even with the Fire Blast, was not able to stop that TP out from the Dark Claw, so nicely done. The Treant, you know, just, just chilling here. He do not have any detection, but he is a little PTSD of all the deaths, so he's going to quickly TP back to his Fountain. Terrorblade has that Mantor, he's level 19, so he's growing. It's just, I, I, it just doesn't look like everything will click fast enough. I think, uh, I, I, if he ever gets a BKB... They might be able to take a good fight, you know, that's just the beauty of Terrible. If you just buy enough time, he can get big enough. Uh, but in secret, it doesn't look like they want to wait. They're gonna get a good old smoke of the seed looking for the Terror Blade. They look for the camps, but the Terror Blade is not greedy. He just goes back to his base, understanding that if he dies right now, not only he's gonna be forced to buy back, but his BKB will be jeopardized. So, nice. Oh, the Dire Scan actually clips. That smoke game coming from Secret, and they're looking, they're still looking. But it doesn't look like they're gonna find anything. Nice, uh, Tinker Ward here coming by Signify. This is one of the wards that, uh, that are actually pretty hard to take down, even if the enemy is uh, ahead. Alright, Dark Willow will TP back to the tier 3 in the bottom lane. Alright, so Swifty, level 17, you know, struggling a little bit here. If, uh, still behind the Lina in terms of farm. Has a BKB though. So, gonna be able to deal with the Searing Chains, with the LSA combo, but Aghanim Scepter, that pure damage Lagooner Blade. Uh, and, you know, Lina's gonna get the spell amp eventually. It's gonna be so much damage. It's gonna be pretty hard for the Terror Blade to actually Sunder. It's like he's gonna. The Lina will be able to take half of that Terror Blade HP in one go. The Living Armor onto the Brewmaster. New Scepter though, buying time, the LS is gonna be there, Klopp tries to go in, quickly gets out, but they're gonna get the Brewmaster, and what is... Oh boy, they're gonna lose that Brewmaster with no buyback, this is looking rough, that pickoff. Alright, they're gonna take that sentry out, they're gonna use the Glyph here, and they still have Signify Blizzard in the bottom lane, they're quickly sending these, uh, 
Ember Spirit here, he needs to be careful to not have his TP cancel. The Terror Blade still not TPing out, and this is gonna be a melee barracks if he doesn't. Terror Blade? Are they just giving this up? I'm not sure about this. Oh no, this is way too late, Terror Blade. This is a melee barracks down. I don't know about that, you know. Uh, yeah, you lost your Brewmaster. Yeah, it's gonna be a hard fight. But uh, how long are you waiting? I mean, I don't know. The, the BKB is finally done, so maybe this is their time. But now you have to fight against the 16,000 goalie. This is so hard, especially when you're fighting against an amazing team like Team Secret. Thanks, Janja. Really appreciate it, dude. Really appreciate your comment. Thank you very much. Puppy, already level 14. Uh, wants to... Wants to get his Glimmer Cave. Already has the components, just waiting it out. Uh, Alright, the Terrorize gets debated here. That's the only... I, I guess that's the only way you kill the Ember. You, you have to Terrorize into into the kill. So, oh, hello! They're gonna get the Scepter again onto this Brewmaster. Oh my lord! The Laguna Blade is not even necessary. Now they're chasing this Tree and Protector. He's invisible, but I'm not sure he's gonna live for long. Alright, they're not gonna find him. They, they, they were waiting for him to take the other route. But it looks like this is gonna be an easy roll. Shan, the Bloodlust just makes Nisha very strong. And yeah, what's up? The Ultimate Quartz. Hope you're having a good one, man. Here in the bottom lane, we do see uh, Terror Blade trying to push it out, but I don't know. It's just, I think this Brewmaster got picked up out of position way too much. He has nine deaths. Um, I like, I mean, it does look like they had a plan in the sense that, you know, they're not going for crazy fights most of the time, but I think they're doubling down too much on that, you know? Yeah, you don't want to go for dumb fights, but... Sometimes you just have to cut your losses and do something. Uh, they're just like letting Team Secret get all these towers and barracks. And now they're 19,000 go behind against this level 19 leaner. With the Laguna Blade Aghanim Scepter. Soon to be 12% stronger. Alright, the Shadow Realm will get dodged by the Dagger from Zai. And it doesn't look like those Brambles will do much for now. They're gonna try and set up here this is a tier two so uh, it's probably the only reason signify is doing this game the tier two doesn't allow king secret to get the last lane of barracks look at that blink with the glimmer cape and they don't have vision they're gonna find all right the shadow realm buying time oh boy the lsa actually does miss and they do get the lotus orb onto the wyvern so no curse crown oh my lord the shadow blade i'm sorry the ethereal blade plus the attempt to strike is way too much damage they're gonna buy back onto the dark willow the right clicks from the terror blade actually doing quite a bit here can they find zai yes they can now the bkb onto blizzard he's trying to fight it out oh boy this might be the fight that they were oh they wanted this for so long puppy will fight as well they buy back the lena puppy already dead but this blizzard terribly no bkb level oh, but the silence they're gonna be able to get the ages down the sonic wave kind of wasted winter's curse oh god the laguna blade the buyback from zion making a lot of work here nisha with that cold embrace crawley he's gonna be next and this is most likely the end of signify they're gonna buy back two heroes they have to look at this top lane actually the ember spirit is gonna show up here has no fear whatsoever has an arcane rune he is just going ham in the top lane um, can you analyze some good oh wait the voice is it clipping again uh, hey boy can you analyze some good meeple gameplay I really want to learn meeple sure oh god All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna. All right, I mean this game is over.
have Signify done better. Uh, too quiet now. Yes, I know, guys. <laughs> that is the problem. I'm not sure if people were trolling, but your voice was awesome, and now it's too low. I, I, I don't know. I have to stop reading chat, maybe. I don't know. Well, anyways, this was the first game. Now we're going to have another one. Let me check what's the next uh, next game right here. Let's just uh, look for Join Dota. All right. Hello. I'm here. I should be here. Uh, anyways, let's see what's the next game we have. Oh, this is the game. Boom Night D versus Admiro. Yeah, that's going to be the next game. Wait, you cannot hear me? That makes no sense. Hello? Hello! I'm pretty sure you can. I don't know, dude. That Potential solution to audio. Run your microphone through a dolph. I'm sorry with a limiter set on the volume. Therefore, you won't get those clipping loud moments. Yeah, I know. That's what I used to do. Uh, then I got this mic, and he was perfect. It was always perfect. And I don't know what changed, but it's just not working as as it as it was. Um, yeah, what happens is that, pe that there's probably people on different... Uh, since they are on YouTube, you can rewind. So they're probably in a particular moment where, where my voice was low. And that's usually that's usually what happens, I think. Uh, or maybe they're just trolling. But you know, you have to wait. You have to expect the best in people, guys. That's so. Let's get some royalty-free music going. And yeah, we're gonna be waiting for the next game. I'm just gonna look for some food. Never expect the best. Now nah, you have to expect the best, guys. Alright, let's confirm here. I'm going to be streaming Boom ID versus Admiro. Uh, it's an Indonesian team versus uh, a Philippines team. So. Can I be hype? Let me just change the name here of the game Boom ID versus Admiro. Be right back, guys.
mind. Um, my mic might be too loud for this. All right. Let's play some overthrow. We probably have like five minutes. This is one of the, this is one of the most annoying parts of Overthrow. Just waiting for 15 people to actually accept a game. That should be much, much, much easier than it is. I live in Brazil. Yes, I don't live on the US. Alright. Why well, not play here? I do like to play Tinker when you have 15 people. I might just play Tinker. Sad life? Uh, I mean. I really like Brazil. I'm kind of afraid of of our country considering the elections. But besides that, I really like living here. I think a lot of people underestimate how cool Brazil is. Actually, as an Indonesian, I wish Bunai D would win. Uh, so yeah, Bunai D is Indonesian, and Amaro is from Philippines, right? Kind of crazy that they actually have like. I think since they have a lot of land cafes on, on SEA countries, you actually have a lot of teams that are from the same country, or you know, the majority of the teams from the same country. Uh, we kind of have this in Brazil. Uh, actually, do you speak the same language, Indonesians and Philippines? I, I, I guess most of you guys speak English anyways, but like... Oh god, we're back here. This is bad. Yeah, the country is awesome. Everything is cheap. We have, you know, awesome weather. We have a lot of nature. And cool people as well. Well, yeah, there, there's definitely... There's definitely terrible people, but there's terrible people everywhere, you know? It's easy to say, oh, it's only Brazil, but... There's... I don't know. After traveling quite a bit, you know, I mean, I guess quite a bit is probably an overstatement, but I did, I did go to like some countries and you start seeing the same problems, but with the difference of, you know, the country being way more expensive to live, people being kind of cold, um, and I don't know, just cultural differences, you know, y you can say, oh, I mean, I'll, I'll it can be very uh, isolating as well, you know, if you're not like working in a company. Because for me, if I just like go to Germany, yes, I can work from anywhere, but it's also, it will probably be quite lonely. What's up, cousin? Or not watching live, then uh, just make sure to go all the way to the right 
And you're probably gonna get to the live part of the stream. Mm. Alright, let's go. So, yeah, I wanted to play Tinker. I'm probably gonna play Tinker. Or Winter Wyvern. I mean, it's fun, but a lot of times it's so bad. I guess if you can get like a negative scepter. All right, sure. Let's try it out. Let's let's see what happens. Okay, so what am I banning here? Ten seconds. I'm to definitely go. banning Tinker if, not, if I'm not playing Tinker. Five seconds. All right, Saren. I'm gonna take your. Let's go. <laughs> Winter Wyvern. Got some mangoes. Become a patron. Actually, let's see how much they have. making some decent cash and considering you cannot monetize <laughs> custom games at all I guess that's that is something 10 seconds to go five seconds let's go boys I repeat, so for now. Burns my eyes. A coldness grows in my breast. Delicious. Uh, understood. Huh. This Look at that. Dragon's Cheeky bastard. Very well. <laughs> just, just gonna deny it if I go for it. Dude, they have cancer heroes like Venomancer and Techies? What is wrong with these people? I did hit him before he was in the ground. That is so buggy. That is glitchy as fuck. You know I will. Stole my my thingy. Should have been you. Okay, let's go straight up eggs, I guess. Watch for winter. Not yet. Our 
that people don't take fuck. No, I just use for you. He saved me, team. What is this map? This is all over. Progress here. Should I go? Back to the roost. Well rested, yes. Watch No, no, have mercy on my poor soul. Get that bugner. Nice. Viper does no kill. damn, what the hell? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Give me strength. Give me more strength. Yo, this is this is not cool.
Yeah, this is my favorite one as well. I don't like the other ones. Double kill. In a frozen blast. Gotta care. So far behind. That sniper is just ulting everyone. Like, what the hell? How is that even possible? I don't care. Puck is one and nine. I'm not even claiming the guy. Blaming the hero. I guess Puck is also not a good overthrow. I actually it should be a decent overthrow hero, right? You guys just don't have a lot of soul to potential. But... Yes. Dude, that was so slow. This kill is pretty good. It's well. I bring the breath of winter to the field of war. Trouble yourself now. There's some pretty decent cast range, Mr. Mr. Rubik. Yo, what the hell, man? Killing spree. Survive. Double kill. Very well. All right, this is this is getting out of hand. Cold winds carry me. is going to be our second one. Let's take the radiant out. And uh, let's go. Alright guys, hope you're hyped because I am. This is, you know, Southeast Asia match between two I guess you know Boom ID a little bit more known than Admiro, but Admiro, you know, they've been around. Uh, I'm not sure if we have the same roster, but you know, the org's been around. Uh, so, you know, first phase heroes Weaver and Sanser, pretty standard. Shaker and Necro both also pretty standard. So, not a lot of sads being thrown by both teams. Uh, actually, I guess the first phase Enigma ban is something uh, that kind of surprised me a little bit uh, and even even more than that they actually picked the silencer themselves so they ban usually it's the opposite right you just you get the silencer so that you don't have to ban the enigma so kind of a an interesting idea there maybe they know that admire just plays a lot of enigma even uh, if there's a silencer in the enemy team it's now time for them to ban a couple of heroes so you see the necropus you see the shaker the shaker is probably going to be a position four the necropus could be anywhere um, so it's really a question of 
what do you think they're gonna do and um you know you have the weaver and the silencer so pretty decent laners i would say silencer has been better but okay they're gonna take the broodmother out uh just wonky hero they don't really have heroes that handle brood for now and uh, maybe they don't want to pick those heroes so they're just gonna take it you know better better safe than sorry Husker is still up not sure if Admiral uh, does play it, but you have you no know, Broodmother and Husker, two heroes they really need to watch out for. Really need to. Ten or seconds else. to go. You can get stomped. Five now, seconds. Boomighty, your last ban. Um, what's still up here? Mm, there, you know, they they need a position five on the side of Admiral. Uh, in terms of you know heroes available, Trint's banned. Mm, Dark Willow still up. Brood is total cancel. Yeah, it's kind of a... It's a funny hero. When you play it. Hmm. I really don't know what the... What, what they want to go for here, because... I guess... Dyer's ban. Okay, they're gonna take the PL out. Definitely Dyer's a hero that ban. the Weaver struggles to handle. Especially as the PL gets more farm. Um... Like... Yeah, the PL can't really get on top of the Weaver, not super well, but the PL just kills everyone, and the Weaver doesn't really do the same. <laughs> There's still a Drow Ranger available, right? Now, that is... I actually Someone's wouldn't be surprised if you see a second phase Drow Ranger right there, and you have the Weaver, you have the Silencer, they did take the Brood out, so, you know, if you're thinking, oh, maybe we should pick Drow, you definitely want to take Brood, so, uh, I don't know. Let's admire they did not ban that Draw Ranger, and we might see. We might see it right here. Um, admiro Dota. They're also taking their time, man. and they're gonna go with the Dazzle. Now, this is a hero. This is a forgotten hero. Last time I've seen this hero, it was actually mid one plane. Mid Dazzle. Uh, and they won. But. I guess, you know, Dazzle. I don't even... I don't know. I am not a fan of the Dazzle here. Uh, you know, there's Ten two things Dazzle is go. good at. One is a lot of burst damage with a Five Shadow Wave. Seconds. So if you have Naga, if you have PL, if you have, uh, you know, whatever, Nature's Prophet, you can do a lot of damage in the laning stage and the hero uh, feels pretty strong. The other thing he's good at is Grave. Grave, you know, pretty decent ability, I heard. Uh, but when you're against a silencer, you're gonna get shadow warded, there's gonna be global. Will you really be able to pull off those clutch graves as a support Yazo? I don't know. No, I didn't watch the, the PSG LGD game. I was actually sleeping, so I just woke up and decided to cast. Um, oh, but it's cool, you know, that the games were not. I mean, even the game against Secret was not a stomp, I would say. Hmm. Okay. So uh I, I like the Kunkka, you know, the concept of the axe really works well versus the grave. Because usually you're just gonna grave someone and it's gonna be hard for the enemy team to commit to get a kill. Ten seconds because there's gonna to be go. enough time for a hero to disengage. But with the axe, you're gonna place the hero Five right back seconds. where you left him. So yeah, Kunkka. Uh I like it. It's also a pretty strong mid laner. It's also a hero that deals damage regardless of armor. Well, you know, Dazzle does give some extra armor to its allies, uh, I believe. Pretty good. Mm. And now it's time for Admiral Dota to pick their second hero of the second phase. So they definitely need a core, unless this is mid Dazzle. I hope it's not. Um, actually, I hope it is. So what can they pick here? You're against... Uh, I assume this is... A, I, I hope this is a core Kanka. I, I don't like support Kanka that much anymore. It, it always feels like you lack damage. And now we're gonna have like a support for Kanka. Pick. With a silencer. Alright, great thing. So, uh, I mean, yeah, you're gonna bring him back. Sure, he has another life. So you're gonna have to use the axe once again. Uh, I like the Rift King here. Uh, uh, one of the problems I see is the Weaver getting too fat and uh, you know, being able to kill the Rift King 
since she drains mana, and Diffusal Blade is one of the items that reverse Beard nowadays. Ten seconds and that to being go. Said, Red King's still a solid hero. I don't think he's a good offlaner, Five uh, seconds. but I think he's actually a pretty decent safe lane. Now, in this case, we have Wraith King and Necrophos, two Dying very mana. versatile heroes, so they could be yeah. anywhere. Volker. And now, even more mana drain is gonna get, get an Invoker. I really like their pick. That also kind of symbolizes that this is for Kanka. Um, and now, let's see what's gonna happen. I mean, they're gonna ban something here. They're probably liking a safe laner for Boom ID, so maybe you could Ten seconds to go. Blade out. Radiance ban. I'm gonna take the Clint's out. Hmm. Nullifier hero. That is quite annoying to deal with. And now Boom ID, what do you do? Um. So Admiral, they are probably liking a mid hero, and you want to take something that doesn't Ten destroy to go. Volker. Kunk is already on your team, Five so seconds. you don't mind. Um, Radiance pick. Husker, definitely a wise choice. Now, what do you pick for Boom ID? Alright, so Husker removed. Mm, safe laners. I wouldn't mind the Terror Blade, although, you know, Necrophos is. A soft counter. There's also the shaker. Ten seconds to There's go. also the fact that there's Graves, so terribly we kind of struggle to kill people, and he's a Five hero that seconds. struggles to disengage as well. Uh, so maybe something like a. You could always pick Axe and Safe Lane Reaper. Uh, they do have a Raid. Dyer's game. pick. They're gonna go with the Terrible Blade anyways. All right. I mean. Yeah, they have a pretty solid late game lineup, right? Invoker, Terrible Blade, Weaver. This is like insane amounts of late game, and I wouldn't like if this game goes past forty minutes. I think this is a very hard game for Admiral. Uh, on the bright side, you know those heroes are a little, a little bit greedy. Go. Invoker doesn't really do much. I, I guess this Invoker is probably gonna be Quas Vex. Five seconds. It's gonna you know the mana drain against the Dazzle and the Wraith King and the Necrophos is awesome. Uh, having the Tornado to dispel the Ghost Shroud is another uh, pretty awesome. Thing. So yeah, they're gonna up the tempo and they're gonna get Take a Bloodseeker. So we see some very different lineups, right? On one side you have this crazy run it to you draft with Bloodseeker Dazzle. That is actually a pretty good combo, you know, the Bloodseeker is gonna be pretty low HP, just killing everyone, you just grave the hell on that hero if you're fast enough to grave him. And uh, yeah, he's gonna kill everyone. On the side of Boom ID, a lot of late game. A very, I mean, I wouldn't say weak lanes, but I don't think Silencer and Kunkka are a pretty strong uh, support duo. So there's a lot of potential there for the Dazzle and the Shaker. I guess it kind of evens out because Shaker Dazzle is also not great. But, um, yeah, I mean, if the Admiral can win their lanes, if they can get a, you know, an early level 6 on that Bloodseeker, just start killing the Terror Blade before he has Sunder, the Weaver before she has Time Lapse. There's a lot of potential there. If they don't, this game starts getting pretty hard. You know, that Invoker is going to get massive. He's going to be creating space, I, I assume, if he goes for Zwax. And then, it, eventually, there's going to be Alacrity for the Terror Blade. They're going to Roche super easily. They have the Global to protect the Terror Blade. It is, um, yeah, it's not easy at all. Bowie, crank up the volume, please. If I do that, sir, people, people will get mad. People will get mad because my voice starts distorting. I, I... I'll try my best, guys. I'll try my best to entertain you all without having shitty quality voice. Hmm. Let's go. So yeah, Boom ID versus um, versus Admiro. As we said. This is a BO1, so let's see what happens. The Weaver already using Sukuchi as well as the Smoke of DC to get... Actually, you usually see an early ward, but there's no early ward on the Weaver. So maybe just wants to scout the ward. So let's see. Oh, that's some very interesting plays right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, the Smoke breaks! No, Weaver, that's not the play. That is not the play. You have to come from this angle. Oh, come on, Weaver. Alright, the Terror Blade, uh... 
already in the in the mid lane here. Doesn't really know where he wants to go. They're just scouting the lanes out for now. The top lane. All right. It looks like the right clicks from the Dazzle will repel. There comes up. Another sun strike. So first level of Exhort, we might see uh, you know Quaswex Invoker. It's kind of became popular to get the first point in Exhort. And then just uh, transition, you know, having the sun strike and having the extra damage in the uh, level one, uh, it's pretty important. So a lot of quas wax invokers are getting the export with level one and then just dealing uh, with quas and wax later. Step lively now. And away we go. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's gonna be a two for two, pretty quick exchange of runes between the players. Got and now uh, our invoker here, pretty. Interesting opener has the magic stick, knows that he's gonna be against the Bloodseeker, and the Bloodseeker is a hero that kind of destroys Invoker. Um, he can always swing both ways, but uh, you know it's way harder for the Invoker. They did nerf Bloodseeker a little bit, and I didn't solve the matchup after the nerf to the heal, so we might see a different thing. But you know the base damage is really what makes this hero destroy the Bloodseeker, uh, destroy the Invoker. I do like the stick though, you know, he's gonna be spamming the hell out of that blood rage. Oh, he uses the sun strike to secure the range creep, pretty important. That's another benefit of going Exhort uh, level 1, even if you're going Quaswex later. Uh, Metamorphs is gonna be popped here. A lot of right clicks just repelling that shaker out, but you can see that creep equilibrium is pretty good on the side of Admiral just because of what the shaker provides top lane. Some harass coming from the Dazzle, but it doesn't look like he has enough uh, enough kill potential. They do have a level of the stun, but after the nerfs, that's also not a, that's not very impressive. Let's check the CS here. The Blood Seeker ahead of the Invoker, but not by much. Pretty nice, but you know, four CS on the Invoker, that's quite respectable, I would say. Uh, Alright, the stun's gonna be there, but they do not have detection, so they can't really uh, use that damage. Bottom lane, Metamorphosis is out. The Terrible only 3 CS, even though he committed a Metamorphosis, so he's not doing pretty well here. That... Uh, okay, the Arcane Curse gonna be popped. Usually you want to use the Arcane Curse before the Death Pulse, just so you can get extra damage. Alright, this is gonna be a kill. It is a kill. You don't see a lot of uh, Dazzles getting a Poison Touch, but you know, in this very, um, I guess, zoning meta, I really like the Poison Touch. He actually gets the kill because of it. Who cares about Grave? Especially when you have the Rave King, right? Um, some damage flying out here. Still the Invoker 7? 7 CS. Yes. I think he's definitely making up for the fact uh, that uh, the Terrorblade was not doing hot after committing that Metamorphosis. It looks like the Silencer though zoning the, uh, the Necrophos out of the lane. Oh, look at this Dazzle just going at it, especially with the Poison Touch. Can he get this kill? Yeah, he's not gonna be able to. That Kunkka with the extra armor being close to the tower, so it's always gonna be annoying. The Shaker wanted to get a rotation hit with the Haste Rune, but with the Four Spirits scouting him out, he needs to back off. In the bottom lane, Necrophos is doing okay, especially considering he's by himself here. But the Shaker is back. Can they get a good Fisher block? That's an ancient totem. They do not even try. Alright, so the Bloodseeker just wants to. Harass the Invoker a little bit. He's starting to get ahead, you know. The scaling on that Blood Rage is pretty decent. And he's just getting a lot of denies. Oh, baby. 16 and 11. I I, I have to say, lane and 3 is pretty respectable for the Invoker, considering how, how miserable this lane is. Torn flies out. Doesn't really, doesn't really do much. The Bloodseeker just getting a lot of respect here from the Invoker. Can't really see us at all. This is not gonna be a great win for him. The Shaker, level two, has a ward. Just toggles between both of them. Kanka will spot this pull here that the Dazzle attempted. Doesn't look like a Kanka will be able to do much. And Bloodseeker already level five. Oh, Fisher. Doesn't look like the Necrophos will dive though. They're gonna pop a self onto the Terror Blade and. Okay, Metamorphs is gonna be popped. Bokirino needs to be careful. Alright. The 
this stun. Is there? Is that a kill with the heal? And uh, they, they doesn't even try to pop the poison touch. And now that there is no Sukuchi commits the poison touch onto the Weaver, this is gonna be a lot of damage. It's gonna be forced Sukuchi away. And if she tries to go to Pesky here, one extra right click. But yeah, with the stick, this is going to be a fine Weaver mid lane. Uh, Rupture is about to get ready. The silence is gonna be on point. Nice Fisher coming by the Shaker. Can they find the Invoker? He does pop his magic one, and this is a good Ice Roll. Can he get a counter kill to the Shaker? It's gonna be clutch if he can. The Sunstrike will land. And this is a very impressive kill, considering this was a clutch rotation by the Shaker. Invoker gets it done by himself. The Torrent will fly out, actually finds two heroes. The uh, Alright, the stun will stop the Weaver, the Axe is there, can they get this Rift King? I'm not sure they can, and now Dazzle, he is going to TP out, do they have enough damage? They don't, but this is going to be one rune on the side of Boom ID, the Rift King will rotate and get the other one. In the bottom lane, we do see a very low HP Shaker here, needs to be careful, has vision because of this ward, uh, Death Pulse will fly out, the Deny is there. Okay. Kanka? Level 3. Decided to get one point of its skill. Pretty interesting here. Usually you see you no know, more points in the X. I don't I don't really like uh, the early pointing torrent. Uh, I'm sorry, the early pointing tidebringer, just because the, the it doesn't show here, but the cast that the range on the Tidebringer uh, changes dramatically, so it can't really do much. Like the range is like 400 level one, so it's not really that impressive, especially as a support where you want to be playing from. Uh, it is some extra harass, I guess, in lane that you can use from time to time. The Necrophus, all right, it's gonna be a pretty decent Arcane Curse onto him, but again, he was not able to to get the Arcane Curse before the Death Pulse, so not extra damage. There is Rupture available, but there's also a TP onto the Invoker, so Allison can't really go for a solo kill even if he wanted to. The Ray Fire Blast gets taunted, the bugs will fly out, and the bug will also come to Sukuchi. Oh, here it looks like there's gonna be a good Blood Rite. Can they get a Rupture? Yes, they can. The TP out is there. Can they get a stun? They can't. And now they're trying to go for this Kanka. They do have the Ancient Totem, and this is most likely a kill. Poor Kanka. Oh, they even. Alright. Nice skill, the reward is there, and, um, alright. Bloodseeker, having a pretty good game here, already has the face boots going for an Ecula. Uh, I'm sorry, already has the Ecula going for one. Not really sure what items, uh, I think the, you know, a late Radiance wouldn't be bad, I think this is also a BKB game. Uh, I'm just curious if he's going for like a Blade Mail first, or if he's going straight up BKB. I saw a lot of, uh, you know, first item BKB. Bloodseeker nowadays. Not sure if this is what he's gonna go for. Alright, nice offline pull here by the Shaker. Off oh, the stun, we'll find the Weaver. They do have that sentry, but they, you know, the lockdown is lacking. The Bloodseeker already level 7, getting pretty close to level 8. The Invoker no, has boots. Doesn't look like he's going for a Midas, going straight up treads, just farming the jungle here as the Silencer rotates. Metamorphosis popped onto the Terror Blade, and it looks like this tower actually suffered quite a bit of damage. Let's see if we can find this tower. It doesn't look like that's going to be the case, and the Rift King is just, just dancing a little bit. Alright. Reflection gets used. There is no Sunder available on the Terror Blade. So, there's definitely some kill potential there. Alright, the Sun Strike will find the Rift King, but that is a long TP. Alright, he actually survives, and my voice probably clipped up because I was very loud right now, I'm sorry. It looks like he ended up losing the silencer because of the Bloodseeker. He's here on the outskirts of the fight, the Dazzle will also fall, and now the Weaver looking for that Rave King. He's pretty close to level 6, the Torrent does not find anyone, and now they're gonna try and get the X onto the Bloodseeker, but there's so much damage, I'm pretty sure the X-Pack's not gonna be enough. This is gonna be a double, double kill for kill. Alice, and the Weaver will TP out, they don't have a cancel. I think my chat might be broken, guys. Is anyone here? Because if no one answers, I have to restart my chat. Because, you know, I just want to be 
I just want to be on top of on whether the you know my voice is is fucked up and stuff. So try and say something if you're here, and I'll uh, and I'll restart my my window if that's the case. Yeah, I'm feeling yeah, I'm pretty sure my my chat died. Let me just restart. And let's see if we have any anyone. All right, so we do have the chat now. Thanks for thanks for uh, answering me. Okay, they do have the Reaper side here, but the Terror Blade is gonna be fine. Still, no metamorphosis. He's holding a point now, so that's nice. Um, it's all plain. We do see a smoke gang coming from that Dazzle. Actually, he doesn't have any wards. Uh, actually, he probably warded here with that smoke, and now they're considering going for the bounty room. They do have some vision thanks to it. And they're already setting up. They do get a stun onto the Weaver here. Can this Rift King get the bounty? Yes, he can. And now the Weaver starting to get chased down. Has Shikuchi in two seconds. Oh, we'll go with the time lapse. Doesn't want to take any chances. Uh, in the mid lane, level 9 onto the Bloodseeker versus level 7 on the Invoker. Pretty expected. Actually, Phase Boots Invoker. That is something that kind of died down. But uh, he's going for the effect. He's not even going Quaswex necessarily. He only has one point, I guess, to take the Ghost Road out. Uh, and now he's going. This is a very weird invoker build, but you know, let's see. Let's see what he has to offer. Uh, Terrorblade still farming decently. Third in network. The Bloodseeker ahead of everyone. That was expected. And he's going for the Use Scepter. You know, that's something you see sometimes when you want to have that cancel. Uh, you know, the what is the next item that can actually cancel TPs? It's like. Uh, Alright, the bugs are gonna be down. They're chasing the Dazzle. has only one point in the Shallow Grave, so. Let's see if they can try and chase him down. He's taking a lot of damage to Sukuchi again. The grade not fast enough. The cast point change, Ice Frog. You kill this hero. And now they're gonna get a kill onto the Conquer in the bottom line. But the trade was the uh, Dazzle as we just saw. They're gonna try and force this team in the tower. There is a Terrorblade top. He has Metamorphosis. So let's see how much this trade is going to, uh, to uh, change the outcomes of this game. Shaker. Oh, just goes for a Fisher here, blocking those creeps to make sure there is no damage done to the tier 1 tower. This tower will fall, and now the Metamorphosis was committed in the top lane. We do see the Weaver playing very aggressive, trying to zone this hero out. Sukuchi again, just going for the poor, poor Dazzle. The uh, Sentry gets put down, but the Weaver, nice positioning right there. There's no global. Is this the Tome for the Silencer? No, that's just the ward. This guy is a sad boy. He's uh, TPing somewhere else, mid lane. Alright, yeah, the Sanister's just here, Radiant trying to get his level 6. He do get the tower, so that is a 1 for 1 trade, but you already see a rotation here. The guy's not even a rotation, the Bloodseeker's just farming, he doesn't care. He wants his Yield Scepter, and he's pretty close to it. Uh, Alright, another Sukuchi committed. Mm. Dazzle! Still not level 6, but his level 6 not as important as, you know, a hero like the Silencer. In fact, the Silencer has no mana for global, he needs to be careful. You know, not committing uh, Arcane Cursing Lane, or else they might be in deep trouble somewhere else. Too bad for Invoker you. trying to farm this bottom lane, goes for the Meteor, but he might be in deeper trouble than he thinks. Can he get a Fissure? Yes, he can, and you're gonna find the Invoker! Oh, Tamago, you don't have any mana, just give me that Reaper side. They actually commit the Echo here. Oh, there was no Reaper, alright. They do commit the Echo. Pretty good awareness by the Shaker there. Finds the Invoker as he TPs out. Alright. The Kunkka has level 6, has that boat. Weaver goes for a Stekurino play right there. And it looks like there's a rotation. Alright. Let's see if they're gonna find here. There is Reaper side. The ward gets popped. They're gonna get two heroes with that Fissure. Can they get a kill here on the Kunkka? He's actually holding on to that Reaper side. Finally goes for it. They will find one kill. And now the Rupture gets popped onto the Spore. Weaver, can she TP out? Okay, we'll be able to. Very low HP. That was so close, actually. Uh, the Bloodseeker. Oh, the Scepter was there. It was in the Courier. Oh, boy. All right. We'll pop the Clarity, and now they will start forcing this tower. The Terrorblade still farming. 14 seconds for the Metamorphosis. So he might be able to TP, especially considering the tower is pretty full. Um, all right. The Sukuchi will be popped out. But nothing will happen. The Shaker getting relatively close to that uh, Blink Dagger. 1300 HP. Just farming it up while the other 
heroes are creating space. The Necrophos looks like he's going, already uh, gets a new scepter, going for a Blink Dagger, it seems like. Just wants to get on top of people, just get that Reaper Sight going. Um, Alright, they're gonna commit a smoke and really wanna use the double damage onto the Bloodseeker. He's very fast, look at the move speed of this guy. <laughs> He had 550 move speed. Oh, the Invoker. Can they find him? Yes, they can. The Scepter is there. We'll set up the Silence. Invoker trying to get out. The Global is there, but it does not matter. The Global was too late. He had to commit it right before the U Scepter. And that's going to be a dead Invoker. The Bolt's going to be committed, but it doesn't look like it's enough. Look at the double damage here. Just go in the Silencer. Oh, he goes for the Conquer. He goes for the Silencer. That's a triple kill for Allison. And now they're trying to disengage here with the Terror Blade. Next, what's he Now, I'm not really sure why. <laughs> Terror Blade? All right, the Scepter will. Will hold that bad boy down, allowing Allison to disengage, and the Dazzle is the trade-off, but a very cheap one. They lose two supports and the Invoker. All right. Radiant top towers hurting. The Blink Dagger starting to get close. We see Shaker trying to go for this bounty. He will be successful. Weaver, pretty close. Wants to boop the Shaker, but only boops him. Can't really go for the bounty room. Top lane. Invoker with the Alacrity. Looks like he's still going for that Midas. So they're really going for the late game here. Um, I mean, this is an 8,000. 8,000 gold lead. I'm not sure Midas is really your your way out of this game. Oh, hello, Weaver. Where is the Fisher? Well, first, there is a Ray Fire Blast. And with the Fisher at the end, that's going to be not only a kill for the Shaker, but a. Uh, Pretty much is a blink dagger, so he's quite happy. CCYY. Alright, the torrent. Oh, just wants to clear it away, huh? Yikes. This is not good. This is not looking good. They're trying to shove the waves. They're trying to buy time. The Terror Blade has that Dragonlance going for the Yasha into Bikibi for now. Um, but to be fair, I, I don't know if they're going to be able to buy enough time. 9,000 gold lead already, Bloodseeker, he is going BKB, it looks like the Wraith King is going for a Radiance, has a Midas of his own, this guy knows that this game might go late, so we might as well just get it, I'm not a big fan of it, but, you no, know, uh, the, the levels are pretty good on the, on the Wraith King, especially on a game where you really fear against those EMPs, against the Diffusal Blade, to be fair, <laughs> it doesn't look like the Weaver will be level 15 soon and there's no semblance of a Diffusal Blade on this hero. Alright, the Ghost Shroud, uh, I'm sorry, the Ghost Wall gets used Global as well, but the Global gets wasted in a way. Can they even find a kill? The Torrent back with the Sunstrike, but there is going to be a heal. They get a Reaper Sight onto the Necrophos, and now the Wraith King will use that Reincarnation. That's still level 1, so that's a big cooldown. The Shaker is nowhere to be seen for now. He's just waiting. Has that Echo. Doesn't look like he's gonna find anything. Alright, they get some vision, they get the fissure, it set up the blood right perfectly, the tornado is there, the echo, can they get the kill on the weaver? It looks like they can, they will find the shaker with that cold snap from the invoker, the ice always there, now bloodseeker goes for the blood right once again, can he find that blood, oh my god, the ice well doesn't matter, just look at that guy go, no, the sunder will buy time for the invoker, and this is a terror blade that will die for his invoker, he just dies as the invoker finishes his Midas, Maybe we'll buy enough time, but for now the tier 2 is gonna get down and this is not looking good guys This is 4 for nil. The Shaker with a beautiful Fissure play there setting up that blood right and this blood seeker is just going to ham Alright, so 45 gets laid out. It looks like this is gonna be a tier 1 tower for Bocarino, our Necrophos Getting pretty close to his bling dagger as well in the top lane. We do see the Shaker just shoving the lane Farming a little bit as well. And uh, BKB almost done for the Bloodseeker. So their times are just coming together. They have a decent Roshan lineup. Uh, I think this is Admiral's game to lose. They're gonna have to... Uh, I think they have to get better at using those Globals. I think both Globals were suboptimal at best on the Silencer. So they're gonna have to... Alright, Tornado gets laid out. But the quick blink away from the Shaker. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like the Necropos will be able to anything done and what is this oh so he's going for the eggs he gives up onto the it looks like he gave up onto the blink dagger i think these are his items right Dyer's mid yeah could use a all right help. he's pretty close to the eggs 
Radiance gets done. So this is a very early timing. And, you know, Radiance versus Terrorblade. This is always pretty scary. Um, Mr. Tamago just gonna try his best here. He pop that alacrity. No, stun. We'll get disjointed by the invisibility. But this Wraith King is having a pretty decent game for now. He doesn't care. Uh, 13,000 gold advantage. Oh. We should be careful here. The Necropos. I kind of like that they're hiding. Oh my god. The Necropos has an Aghanim Scepter already. And the Shaker found the Terror Blade. But it doesn't look like he's going to come in. He actually TP's his out. Knowing that there is no uh, disable between those two heroes. Okay. Ghost Walk. Looking for a play. He's not even super fast. He's pretty slow. <laughs> uh, Alright. That's fine. We'll fly out. The Bokerino Necropos was able to snatch it up. A golden BKB done on a Bloodseeker. Their timings are so good here. They have a pretty hefty gold advantage. Oh, look at that. The Weaver needs to be careful. Because if that Tsukuchi ends with the Wraith King right on your face. Oh, speaking of. Alright, it looks like he's going to TP Die here. The they do have down. this uh, smoke onto the Shaker. They're just waiting to find the Echo. They don't have vision though, so I don't think they're gonna be able to find it. Bloodseeker, level 15, has that BKB as we talked about. And now a haste rune onto the shake. Still has the smoke for a couple of seconds. Alright, they do have this vision. Oh baby, the blood right with the echo. That's just a quick snatch up. Nice ward here. Usually uh pretty hard to take down. And this is not looking good, guys. Okay, so the Weaver will TP away. Getting close to that mana drain, but if you look at the levels of the Rave King, he's already level 15. He has that Midas going. Uh, this is... This is looking kind of... Kind of hopeless. Another Midas usage. He's just skyrocketing farm the entire Tricor of Admiral. Ahead of the other three cores. You know, the boat's gonna get laid out. This Kanka just trying to buy as much time as possible, he's trying to cut the waves. And this is nice and all, but eventually, eventually the good event is just gonna be too big for them to handle. Their cores are not farming as fast as possible. The Shaker is gonna be there. The Blood Ride once again. The way they play this Shaker Blood Seeker combo has been amazing. I really like the way they've been utilizing it. Every time there's a Blood Ride, like the Blood Ride by itself. A lot of the times, just feels underwhelming, right? It's so hard to land. It's all about the rupture. It's all about you know having a radiance. But with that fissure, every time they just land a blood right, and then suddenly that's a six second uh, AOE silence with you know pure damage on top of it. I really, really like the way they're using those two heroes. Uh, now they're sieging the mid lane here. All right, they're gonna pop the EMP. It doesn't even drain mana. Oh no. This is not what they want. They're gonna pop the Meteor. The Glyph is there. Oh, they're being outplayed here. I just... Alright, the Fisher will not find any heroes. The Torrent will buy time. And they will get this tower eventually. Now, they could probably rotate through Roshan if they wanted to. They could also go top. There's a pretty sizable creep wave in this side of the map. And they're farming. You know, the Terror Blade finishes that Yasha has one of the BKB components. But the rope just keeps on getting tied and tied into their necks and Radiance time. can they really get out of the situation? And the Invoker not doing great right now. They're gonna go for a bolt, but the quick blink with the Wraith King, they're gonna find this Kanka. He's actually quite tanky because of the bolt run buff. And now they're chasing the Silencer. Has that Global. He's gonna be forced to use it, but BKB does not care about it at all. The Bloods, can just go for a dive into their tower. He's so fast. And this is a beyond godlike streak for that. Bloodseeker now this Weaver trying to get away. We'll pop the time lapse. Can they get on top of her? It does not look like it. The tower still up. Not sure if they're gonna keep going. It looks like they will. Uh, I heard a new scepter here. The Sun Strike will definitely not find that Bloodseeker. Can they get a kill? Oh, they finally get it. The Maelstrom proc will actually get that one. Nicely done here. That was a 1,000 gold kill for the side of Boom ID, and they definitely needed that. 
a bit of an overextension. Uh, they're still going for this tower. I know this is pretty slow, but it doesn't look like they're farming much. The Terra Blade is actually farming an action here, but let's see if they can keep holding this. The Terra Blade TP, this is a very bold TP. Let's see if they can go for it. The very long TP as well. The charm's gonna be there. Fine. It's a Wraith King. The boat's gonna be on top of it. Can they get it? Yes, they can, but not enough damage, and they do not have the follow up. Especially with no metamorphosis onto the Terra Blade Invoker. Pushing bottom, getting closer to that eggs. Alright. Invoker. Uh, has one of the components for the eggs. You know, he ended up going for a lot of small items. The face boots, the U Scepter, and the Mida. So that's why the item Scepter time is going to be so late. But if they can keep this game going, they might be... I mean, with that Bloodseeker death... They might be able to hold this far long enough. Uh, we see a lot of Admiral heroes here trying to set up for the bounty that will open up the space for BYD to trade even in terms of, terms of bounties, which is pretty clutch. You know, at this state of the game, you don't want to be uh, losing all the bounties. They are worth quite a bit. Um, that Shaker has the Echo Slam available again. The Necrophos ended up going for the Blink Dagger. I think the Blink Dagger on the Necrophos would be better. I think they would be able to uh, up the tempo of this game by quite a bit. Because, you know, if you have the Aghanim Scepter, but you're not playing very aggressive, or the enemy is just cutting waves and shit, your eggs doesn't do much, right? Because you want to be using it constantly. And there's, there's that... I don't... I'm not even sure if we saw any Reaper Sights. We probably saw one. Alright, the Sukuchi is there, the Echo misses, the time lapse, they do not, oh, the Reaper side isn't enough, it's not enough. And now the Reaper will be able to Sukuchi away, but with that Tornado, I think this is going to be enough. The Scepter buys time for the Blood Ride, this is a one kill for Neil. they will get an X back, but this will also be a dead Conquer. We're going to get a right click down, the Invoker, have to get the hell out of here, sir. Is He's testing his luck here. Well, in the meantime, the Terror Blade was able to farm a BKB, so he is now quite strong, I have to say. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to handle the two lives, or now three lives potentially, uh, of the Wraith King. The Aegis is probably going to go onto the Bloodseeker's pockets. They do have that weave, so the, the Roshan is not going to do any damage whatsoever. It's going to be a very easy Roshan. Oh, the Invoker. Hello, Shaker. Cold Snap's gonna be there. The Anton Toad actually lands, and he's not attacking with his Force Spirit. This is not looking good. Your Scepter will hold the Shaker in place. The Feeding Blast. Oh my lord, his Invoker is not playing a good game. He's gonna commit the uh, Ghost Walk, and it looks like he's gonna be fine. A Ghost Shroud. Yeah, it's committed. Do they have any detection? They have two sentries, but they're not gonna be able to find this Invoker. The Scan will also be off the mark. And an Otamago buying time, but. I don't know, some questionable plays. Some questionable plays. Um. Alright. Nope, the dust is gonna be there. Nice feature. Kinda blocks the Bloodseeker a little bit. Uh, oh, nice time lapse away, but it looks like the Weaver actually took the damage from the time lapse. Oh, and she's invisible. The tornado does not find those heroes. And this is gonna be a dead, dead Weaver. Oh, that tornado. If if he lands that tornado, he would maybe buy enough time for the Weaver to uh, wait the Rupture out so she could. So could she away. Now, this is a dead Weaver. There is buyback available, but this is also 16,000 gold. The, oh, no. The TP from the Terrible gets canceled. The Sunstrike will not land. He actually pops the BKB just trying to get this kill. He will get the kill, but he's blocked. He's blocked. I mean, that's only a Dazzle, right? So I guess they don't care, but how much time is he going to buy? Oh, God. The FPS drop. Oh, no. Ooh. This is not looking good. He doesn't have a TP. His BKB is on cooldown. He has Sunder, but I think he's dead. There's no way he survives this, right? Oh my god. Well, I guess I'm just gonna eat some pasta, guys. Mm. It's pretty good pasta. I made it yesterday. Hmm. Okay, so... Even if he dies, I don't think it's that bad because... Actually, it's a little bit bad because... Oh, if he dies with, uh, with a Reaper Sight. Okay. All right. 
Okay. I want, I want Admiral to not kill him. Just wait the Reaper side. Wait the Reaper side. All right, they're buying time. Ghost Shroud is there. Oh, this is going to be so long. 110 seconds. The Necrophos gets there in time. Now they have to shove the hell out of those waves. They need to push every single wave. Um, you already see the Invoker in the top lane with the Alacrity. They're going to have to do God's work or else... Oh, they have to send a hero here. They have to intercept this wave. 90 seconds is way too much. They have the Aegis onto this Bloodseeker. They have a Manta. Ah, it's just too much. Alright, alright. Weaver. Going mid. Doing her best. We'll cut the wave. Does not have vision here to find the, the Weaver. But look at this wave. It's already bottom. Oh, the Weaver. Trying to intercept the wave. Go for it, buddy. Go. You can cut it. Oh, yes. We'll find a wave. Commits the bugs. This will buy enough time. This will probably buy enough time. It's still one minute. But the Shaker is not there. He's still going for it. He has a smoke to go faster. But as long as the Weaver is here, I don't think they're going to be able to take tier 3. They might be it, try to. The Cold Snap is there. The MP will drain the entirety of Wraith King's mana. He doesn't have the level 20 just yet. So he needs to be careful. Pops. I guess he got some mana because of Arcane Boots or whatever. But there's already an Assault Caress here. So much building damage. And the Weaver still cutting the waves. He has a TP. They're actually going to lose the Silencer. He has buyback. He's going to be forced to use it now. The turn will find the Wraith King here. They're trying to buy as much time as possible. The Blood Rite just zoning Invoker out. Look at that Rupture. Just puts him to very low HP. And those Barracks, they're just falling too quickly. They were not able to cut the wave. I mean, they cut the wave, but the backdoor protection was up for too long. And now this is going to be the first Barracks of the game. They do use the Fissure. The Terror Blade still dead for 5 seconds. Something green fell from the shaker. Oh, there was a gem there. Yeah, I guess it didn't matter because the terror blade yes. died anyways. Is there a gem still there? Uh, I don't think there's a gem, right? It should show when they were here. Maybe they they picked it up later. Let, let, let's. Uh, hello, Fisher. We'll find a terror blade. The BKB still up. They need to be careful with that Reaper side. All right, the Ghost Shroud buying time. The center will finally be committed. And a lot of damage onto the Rift King. They will pop the Global, but the Reincarnation will proc. Where's the Torrent? Where's the Bolt? It will find the Rift King, but that's a good echo. It will get two heroes. They do stop. Oh, the Reaper side. Goodbye, Wraith, uh, Terror Blade. It doesn't look like the Reaper side got the kill, but that's still a very important one. They're going to cat the Ghost Shroud around, just amplifying the damage. The Kanka, he's low down. Four heroes. Heroes that on Boom ID and the Ancient Totem just seals the deal. But yeah, I mean, this game was pretty hard. I, I, if I have to blame someone, and considering I'm a shitty caster, I will. I'm gonna blame the Invoker. I think he was supposed to create space. Like, was okay, as long as this is a Quasvex Invoker, this will be fine. But um, he ended up going for very weird items. Um, I think he played the lane okay, but I just think his items just made the game very hard for Boomaidi. I also think the Silencer's globals were not great. Uh, besides that, you know, support Kanka. Like, he was cutting the waves the entire game because he couldn't do anything. Support Kanka is just bad. Support Kanka is... You don't have damage, that's the problem. Uh, especially when there's like a Wraith King, so he has two lives, you have the region from this Necrophos, you have Graves. Like, Grave was not even necessary. I'm pretty sure we saw almost no Graves the entire game. Um, yeah, anyways, this is Mega Crepos. I'm sorry, oh, actually, they, they retreated. Alright. Okay, this is double Super Creeps. Uh, Volker should win his lane against Seeker by going 2-1-3. I don't think you can win that lane. Uh, if you're super good, maybe you can get a kill, but I don't think you will know him. Uh, Alright, they want to end this game right now. There is going to be a nice stun with the Reaper side. That's 90 seconds with no conquer. And uh, probably the game. There is no Metamorphosis. There is no Global. So what do you do? There's also no Glyph of Fortification for 2 minutes. I think this is probably GG. They will pop those bugs there. He will zone Admiral a little bit, but the range barracks are already down. The illusions are actually zoning the heroes here. And look at the records right there. The global will be used. Nice blood right dodge by the Invoker U Scepter. They're gonna cap that e EMP there, but with the BKB, the Terror Blade just goes ham onto the Wraith King. They will get a stun. Where is the crit? Oh boy, nice stun there from the Wraith King, but it's just buying time once again. It's just buying time. This Terror Blade is a bro, you know, always trying to save that Invoker. 
but uh, it just doesn't look like they have the damage necessary. Nice. Echo on to the... Oh boy, that's a... That's a Ripper side. 110 seconds once again. The damage from the Terror Blade is there, but the Grave will save the Shaker, but the GG flies out anyways. This is a team wipe, and it looks like Admiral takes this game quite easily. No 33 minute game. Terror Blade support. Uh, Invoker versus Bloodseeker is probably Invoker's worst matchup. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it is one of the harder ones. Uh, I guess Kanka is also a hard one. I think they probably pick support Kanka because you don't want to ban the Kanka, and at the same time, you you, you don't want to go against the Kanka. But I, I think the fact that you have a support Kanka doesn't offset the fact that you took one of the matchups away because you know that Bloodseeker just destroyed the game, anyways. <laughs> Invoker versus Brood? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, Brood versus anything. Brood doesn't even count. He's not even a hero. Alright, guys, I'm gonna get some nice copyright. There's actually no copyright songs going. And uh, we can just play a game of Overthrow. Let's see what's the next game here. I'm probably gonna cast another one. Let's see. Do we, do we even have, like, viewers and shit? Uh, I don't know if we have any viewers. But, you know, if there's anyone watching, thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, Alright, so I actually really wanted to cast that GG Bad Invitational because they had some nice teams, but I was not able to because I cannot find their games. So that's why I'm, ca I'm casting uh, this EPG thing. Actually, maybe it's over. Is it over? Support Kanka is a waste of a Kanka. I agree. Uh, actually, we might be out of games. This was maybe the last one. Uh... Yeah, I think we're out of games, boys. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna decline this and I'm gonna end the stream because there's no games. Thanks for watching, Joe. It's always nice to have you guys around. Now I have to look for water, because there's no water, and uh, I shouldn't be drinking that so early. Thanks everyone for watching, it's always it's a pleasure having you guys around.